Don't they look exactly alike? He looks like the Snoop Dogg version of Ja Rule. I'm just saying. I But I want to know, do you think they sound alike? Has anybody heard Ja Rule's son's voice? Does he say, baby, the same way his daddy does? Because it made me think about J1 and Jadakiss. Jadakiss is twin. Now, J1 might not sound exactly like Jadakiss right now. He raps just like him, but the voice ain't quite there. You give that boy 15 to 20 years of smoking, I guarantee you he will sound exactly like Jadakiss. That'll be his twin 100, no, 1,002%. They should form a rap group. All of the sons that look just like they daddies. And come out here and, and I, I don't know, we can do the locks with uh, Murder Inc. Murder locks. Murder locks, that's, that's what we need to run. He looks like the Snoop Dogg version of Ja Rule. All right, so the word of the day, hypocrite, hypocrite, because that's what they being if they make Chick-fil-A open up on Sunday. Now, I know this is the answer to some of some of y'all prayers out there, but I'm going to let you know you was praying to Satan the whole time and you didn't know. I'm just saying, look, we do things backwards in this country, so I'm going to try not to step on everybody's toes, but. I'm going to say at least Chick-fil-A was trying to do something right. You know, if you call Sunday the Lord's Day, which it really should be the Sabbath, but, you know, yeah. But if you're going to call it the Lord's Day, to honor the Lord, he said, do no work on the day. Because he didn't do no work on that day. He worked for six and sat for one. If the creator of the universe took a break, he wanted you to do the same. So at least Chick-fil-A tried. But now this country's government is being hypocrites because you've proven that you, you don't honor nothing but your pockets. You leave Chick-fil-A alone. Even though, yeah, I do want a sandwich, but I, I just get my own. Now this... This is what you call legendary shit. Like, straight up. Did you know that Tony Gwynn was so great of a player? Well, how great was it? Tony Gwynn was so great of a player that he got drafted twice on the same day to two different professional sports leagues. Can you imagine the bidding wars that was going on? Now, please don't get offended. But I believe he should be the first person that we ever coined the phrase for. The phrase that I speak of, super I'm just saying, how, how do you get drafted twice on the same day? I didn't even know he played basketball. So maybe I should do some more homework on basketball players that turned out to be baseball players. But... 19, number 19. R.I.P. to the legend, man. I don't think we ever going to see nobody do this again. But if we do, just know Tony Gwynn is your daddy. The phrase that I speak of, super 